Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Springville, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a canvas that I didn't like the look of and desire to play with it <laughs> and see what I can do to change my feelings. And I don't know if that's possible, but I'm hoping that it's probable. And I've got all kinds of cool colors, including this mica. That's a turquoise, excuse me, that's a very blue mica. It's on my Amazon link underneath Show More. And this color is especially fantastic for me. I don't know how it's going to dry though. It's, uh, it's very similar to the neon from folk art that used to dry more burgundy. I think I want some gold in there. I really want my gold mica powder gold, but it's not in evidence. But this art mind is. And because there are no rules right now, like there are ever any rules, there are my glasses. I'm thinking I'm going to just take my smallest spatula and play with whatever I've got here. And whatever I get, I'll try and be happy with. I think there might be some tilting or tipping involved shortly. I just want to cover it with that purple. <laughs> I love that neon color. Now, there's no yellow in there and there's no more orange in there, but there was some to begin with. And what do I see that I want? I just want to tip that. I have some of this color from Arteza. It kind of wants to be used up. And it, uh, I didn't think it was my favorite color before, but I'm really beginning to like how it looks now. It adds uh, some interesting contrast. And I think it's time to clean that out. And the lumps. And throw my little container into the bucket and see what else I might want to do here. Although I am really thinking I should tip before I do anything else. Or just stop now because it's really cool. I like it. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't always used to like my artwork. I referred to it as wrapping paper art when uh, I was doing you know, designs and shiny glittery and gold and silvery fun things with watercolor and gouaches and so on. But um, I've changed my mind. I like I like what's going on. I like being able to start with something interesting. I really do like that. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Um, all right, let's just play in spite of the fact that I like it and see what happens. I'm not sure anything's going to happen that is going to be better than what I see and it's very abstract, expressionist, and that's okay with me. I like all those little marks. I even like the strange stuff that's left over from the last painting. I love when a painting is um, a redo and the background is shiny from the semi-gloss and the paint just sort of glides over it. It's, it's a whole different way of mark making. I'm not going to be able to cover my, cover my edges just as well as I would have normally because there's not that much paint over there yet. Yet. But I can just keep sticking my skewer in there, dragging my finger down. I really want to tip, but I really like what I see. This is really hard to choose. I think I just got to give myself a minute to tip. I don't want to lose all of those little spots of anomalous yellow and orange. Matter of fact, I kind of like them. So let's see what I will give myself permission to do a little bit. Just right out there. Yeah, I like that. I didn't shake that first. I don't think I shook the other one either. Come out. My, my life and my artwork is ruled by plugged tips. But I'm loving the contrasts and uh, the effect of what I've got is making me happy. And even though there's, there's some flow troll in that orange, it's not a bad experiment. We'll figure out what's going on with it after that. Um, I'm really, I don't think this is going to take too long. So I'll tell you guys, if you like what I do, even this weird stuff, 
Uh, please give me a thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm to give my videos placement on YouTube so that I can try and come back as often as possible. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how the eye moves around inside of this. She says as she adds more paint, you know I can't stop myself. I'm compulsive. So I still really love that. Such such abstractness as it is. I'm going to call it good. So there's over 73,000 of you. There's probably almost 74,000 of you. If there aren't 74,000 of you now, I'm going to check and see what I can steal off of my spatulas that are resting beside me, touch up my edges, and uh, probably torch just to make sure there's no bubbles in what we've got here, and uh, look for any places that would benefit from me sticking a finger in the edge and dragging some of that paint color over like this turquoise right here with that orange in it. Um, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I keep saying that like I'm trying to excuse myself, but um, I know a lot of you guys are not used to this side of me. And uh, as accidental as it was, it had everything to do with my own choices. So uh, look for my Amazon link under the video. Look for Pinterest and Instagram. And I don't want to do anything else to that, but I just, I'm so used to playing. Yeah, hit and run, quickie. I want some black down here. I guess I'm not done. Where's my black? Maybe just, just a little right there. Yep. I did threaten to finger paint, so guess what? I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. I can leave my paint thick just like I put it on the canvas in puddles like that because I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint recipe mixes. It's the first ingredient that goes in. It's two parts, two parts GAC 800 by Golden to eight parts paint and then I go ahead and I add my half and half mixture of Floetrol and Decor pouring medium. And I am willing to try some other things, and I've been looking at some other things. Vallejo, or however you say it, is offering stuff, was offering an interesting price on Dick Flick this morning. So I'm thinking about changing things up and seeing how that works out. I don't want to cook anything, but I love these colors. I'm so happy I gave myself permission to just completely annihilate that other painting. I don't mind that some of it's showing from behind. I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And in the last 20 seconds of this video, you are going to see a place where, if you want, you can subscribe. Another place where you can look for... Oh no, and the radio's on. Can you turn the radio off? Oh well. Such is life. I forgot again. Well, it was probably drowned out by the sound of fans and my, <laughs> my ever-present voice. But um, I can live and hope that, that it's not uh, going to be a problem. And I'm going to keep talking through it, just because. Alright, so, I said I loved you guys. I said to go shopping on Amazon. I have Facebook pages, uh, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, and Fans and Collectors, two different groups. And uh, I love you guys, and I will see you anon in another video. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Oh yeah, 725 videos plus on the end screens. Good place to go binge. And you can see the contest there too if you want to contribute to the studio. Um, you'll be automatically entered if you do that. And you can see the prizes. Bye for now.